sea foam. I think the most of it's probably the worst of it's over with. All right, well, time to go drive it. Uh, just got it back from uh, getting repaired and everything else. Um, had some uh, stuff that we hit on the highway, and. Uh, it was not pretty uh, some stuff fell off a truck in front of us and there was no way around it traffic both sides and everything and yeah it kind of just plowed right into it messed up the front end and down the right side of the car and everything but uh you guys have seen the videos of the car before and now they pretty much repainted three quarters of the car and all new lights and everything and window tint's not too far off. Um, probably going to go pretty dark on that. I actually have uh, an exemption from window tint laws here in Florida. Whenever you get LASIK vision correction or have a light sensitivity problem in general, uh, the doctor can actually write you a prescription for window tint, basically, that they request uh, that you be given an exemption from that. You send it into the state of Florida, and then the state of Florida approves it, and you no longer have to abide by the window tint law. I happen to have that benefit because of my, and I, I do actually have this, a little bit of light sensitivity after having LASIK vision correction. And um, so this thing's gonna pr pretty much be getting limo tent. And the cops can't say shit. Which will piss them off, but I really don't care. So, anyways, um, this is uh, how the car's looking now, and everything came out very nice on it. And uh, it's about to start getting a little bit of work done to it over time here. Upgrade the brakes a little bit, engine a little bit, tint, probably some stuff exterior wise, but uh, biggest thing is I want to change the sound system in it. As you guys know from my other videos, I wasn't too fond of it. <laughs> hey, uh, shout out to Blinky Cab about the, do you like the scooter? Because... They, uh, those were just some modified scooters, little 49cc scooters. They were, had a little bit of work done to them. Pretty funny, actually. Um, but anyways, uh, there's the, the repairs on the car. Nice and shiny. Uh, HID's coming up very, very, very soon. I'm gonna do, since this is a different car, and the install's a little bit different, and the kit itself is a little bit different, I've gone with a canvas kit. Instead of uh, the old regular plug-and-play kit, so, so this is a slight bit different. It's for a little bit more of a, a complicated setup. Not very hard though. Um, still very much a, a plug-and-play type of deal for the most part. You guys will get to see that in the video um, how to do it. This is for you know a different model and everything. Kind of show a little bit of variety here. It'll be a full instructional video, and uh, the headlights are already aimed properly for it and everything. Whenever you do HIDs on a non-projector style light, it does cause a lot of glare. Now, in order to not be 
a complete jerk on the road and blind the hell out of everybody, what you do is you aim them down lower than you normally would. Not a whole lot, but enough. And once you aim them down lower, you're actually bringing it down out of people's eyes. The glare isn't so bad. It's not going to blind the hell out of them. And uh, it's a lot safer that way. It's the smart way to do it until you get projectors. I'm actually working on retrofitting these uh, for the low beams. And the high beams, I really don't care because the high beams, you know, you're not going to be keeping those on when you're coming towards cars anyway. So don't really need them for that. It's just made to go farther down the road. But uh, I'm gradually going to be switching all of these lights to LED. But uh, for now, I'm getting the Canvas HID. I am actually now going to be selling HIDs. Uh, so if anybody likes the kit after I post them, uh, after I show how they're like at night, feel free to you know go through my link that I'll provide for you to place an order, and you can have a kit like that too. There's a variety of kits available. Um, different vehicles, different bulb sizes, everything, the works. Uh, there's also going to be spotlights, flashlights, off-road lights, uh, LED and HID for all of that. Wearable head-mounted LED lights. And uh, all kinds of good stuff. So uh, I'll provide the links in the descriptions for all of that. Stay tuned. The... Uh, kits that I'm selling will be similar to the basically the same or similar depending on which one you option for as the last Grand Prix that everybody was asking me about and probably are going to be asking me about this one and uh, they're high quality they last a long time we will have some cheaper kits available I do not recommend them simply because well you get what you pay for you buy a cheaper kit you get a cheaper kit they may not last as long they may not be as good of a setup you may encounter problems with compatibility with your vehicle and stuff. But uh, in order to solve that, some vehicles even require you go with the canvas kits. And, um, ah, my car is dirty already. No! I have to clean that. That's going to drive me nuts. I cannot have my car dirty right now. And up there on the hood. Ah! You, spec, why the hell are you on my car? Focus. There we go. That stupid little speck thinks it has the right to be on my nice clean car. Anyways, um, now that I know I have to go clean my car again, because it just got back from getting out of the shop and it's all detail and stuff, I don't want it dirty. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go, but stay put for more. More videos coming soon. I'm about to upload a whole bunch of videos, so you're going to see quite a bit coming along here. Um, changing some things up and... Uh, Getting a lot of stuff worked out on mods and everything for the car. The lighting setup, as soon as I do the projectors, I don't know how long it's going to take. Um, I'm going to show you guys that as well. It is worth it. It reduces the glare even further. You get that sharp cutoff and it gets a really nice light pattern on the road. So it is worth it. You can do it. Just basically what it does is the retrofit, instead of having to buy crappy or, you know, cheap made uh, projector housings for the aftermarket and everything you can actually take your stock housings and modify them to where this lens right here basically gets removed and you have a projector put in uh, you can do it for this one as well but personally I think that's a bit of a waste because well this is made to project as far down the road as possible anyways so why not just let it be there and just put the bulb in works the same way um, Swap these out for LED. Swap all this out for LED. And uh, the tail lights, I'm actually going to do LED as well. These are going to get replaced with aftermarket. That's going to be aftermarket, and those are going to be LED as well. So, there you have it. Stay put for more.